Hello everyone and welcome back to the glorious Republic of Swordland. When last we left, we made the possibly disastrous decision of having our military halving, halving, whatever, however the fuck you pronounce that word, divide by two. <laughs> The, the theory is that we are going to have, uh, we, we are going to make, we are going to take the money we've saved from firing half of our military to modernize our, our equipment and make a highly professionalized, uh, well-equipped, highly trained elite force to defend Swordland. However, we already were at less than half of the military of, of Rumberg, and now we're less than a quarter of what, of what they have. So we are possibly quite fucked. Also, that having our military means that we are now sending almost 300,000 people into unemployment so that's gonna be good that surely that that won't affect the economy in any way shape or form <laughs> fuck uh anyways this episode we're gonna be dealing with some diplomacy so let's start off easy ish and let's go to agnolia We're about to land. So many conflicts over a small piece of land, the island can barely sustain itself with outside help. Without outside help. If I was in the shoes, yada yada yada. It's a very strategic position. I know, I think it's the same thing. Thousands of people died fighting for it, I wonder if it was worth it. I suspect it will be one of the topics that Mr. Van Horten will bring up as a bargaining chip. <laughs> Heliland might be under control of Agnolia, but the international community is yet to recognize it, for a good reason too. Nobody wants to make an enemy of Vogslang, especially because of the support of United Contana and the CSP. So we don't want to recognize that this island is actually theirs, if we can help it. I want... Yeah, I wouldn't want to do anything to injure our relationships with Volksgar uh, Volksland. Yep, especially since <laughs> we need all the help we can get. Do our best to stay in the middle ground. I don't like being a centrist, but... We need all the help we can get if we're gonna survive a, a Rumsburgian invasion. Aside from the point of Hel Heliland, we want to be careful with additional requests. According to the deal that was negotiated so far, they want to sell us their steel for a higher price and they are requesting easier access to our agricultural market. So... This would, would kind of balance out. Like, it, even if we are buying st steel at a higher price, it, in it increases the cost for our metallurgy industry, but they would but theoretically, they would be importing more of our agricultural products. So, ideally, this would balance out. Promising cash flow investments in England region. Acknowledging immigrants in our England region make up a good chunk of the region's economy. During the initial negotiations, they have brought up the topic of immigration many times. The fact that we have relaxed our immigration laws will help tremendously. Let's see if you can shake hands on it. Wave at the crowd, let's be friendly. Seriously? The Prime Minister isn't gonna say hello to me? That's rude. 
Surge, glad you could make it. I hope the fight was comfortable. Thank you, Surge. Looks like they're not too happy to see you, sir. I never knew Agnolians were so ungrateful. Not everyone sees a great leader like you every day. There have been so many issues in Starland. I don't know if I can call myself a great leader. Humility is important, but not in this case. They were always scared of Scarland's potential, and now they are afraid that the lion leads Swordland. They are afraid of you. We have arrived, sir. Surge! Surge is... is a lot. Uh, Surge is... I think Surge is kind of like Stilgar. We, we wanted him to be a friend. But he turned into a follower. Mr. President, welcome to Agnolia and the beautiful city of Stalport. Thanks for the warm welcome. Like, not greeting me in the fucking airport. Shake hands and hug afterwards. <laughs> yes, yeah, surprise hug. This okay. Oh, okay. The the hug might not play well with Valgsgard. I would like to present you with a gift as a sign of friendship between our countries. It's one of the first treaties written between Sorland and Agnolia, just like the the one you have prepared with Mr. Weesey before my term. May it mark the renewal of your friendship today as well. I hope so. Gift one of the original copies of the first constitution of Sordaland. <laughs> Gift a bread puppy. <laughs> Gift a Sordish bread puppy despite Martin's fear of dogs. Gift an or ornamented ceremonial sword made of Sordish steel. We're importing their steel, so that would be kind of insulting. The first constitution of Sorland, we're kind of... Mm. Let's go with the, the ceremonial sword. <laughs> Not sure that's the best idea, but the constitution doesn't feel like... This must be hundreds of years old. It looks like swordish steel as well. Very fitting. Thank you. Let's go to my office. Thankfully done with the ceremonies. Not fun of the ceremonies. I think they're a waste of time, but alas, that is one of our jobs. Would you like a drink, Mr. Rain? I wouldn't mind some Magnolian vodka. True gentleman, I can respect that about you, Mr. Horton. It's how we do things in Gnoli, Mr. Rain. I appreciate the kind words, but flattery alone won't sway me this day. First of all, I would like to say that I have been watching your recent changes to the immigration policy. I am glad that you have decided to keep it relaxed. Immigrants are very much important for beneficial economical development, and we believe that very much in Agnolia. It's reassuring to see Sorland move into a more modern direction. Thank you. Tell him, Mr. Reid, is Sordland a reliable trading partner for Agnolia? You can trust Sordland. It was a good move to start building that highway overall. This is a positively affect our trade. Thank you, you're very kind. Yes, I did it for the people of Sorland, but b helping trade with Agnolia is not going to hurt. So what's it going to be? If we shake hands on it, this agreement is going to be really beneficial for both of us. 
you should be able to solve your recession in no time with the investment and money flow coming from us. This is, as you know, on top of the reduced tariffs for trade in between our countries. Of course, in return, as discussed between my people and your people before, you will allow us privileged access to your agricultural market. You'll be buying steel from us at a higher price, which is a small price to pay, really. That is the deal. Minus one government budget? Woo. Ah, fuck. Fine. I accept. Thank fuck we got some <laughs> financial aid from the commies. Before we dive into the paperwork for the trade deal, I want to offer you another possibility. I'd like to expand our newly found partnership. We have regional forces like Kronberg that have been imposing danger on both of our countries. I am of the mind that we must unite, so by powers bestowed upon me as the Prime Minister of Gnolia, I am offering a military alliance in between Sordan and Agnolia. Yes, yes I accept. Uh, we desperately need the allies right now. Excellent to hear, our ministers will go to the details later. How would we have gone this far and willing to enter an alliance? There is another topic. Ah, the fucking island, isn't it? Helian has been long coasted between Agnolia and Vogsland. Those warmongers want to take it to take back the island. You know how the international community does not recognize our rightful claim to the island. What better act to cement our alliance than announcing to the world that Sordland recognizes Helioland to be Agnolian territory? You're asking too much. It's understandable, but I won't push too much on the matter. We have achieved enough for today. Yeah, we, we already agreed to be to, for, to a military alliance. <laughs> cool your fucking jets. I said I, I said yes to everything else. We must continue the official program. As you know, we will pay a visit to our founder's grave for another ceremony. Afterwards, we will move on to the state dinner. After you. I could just leave him there high and dry. So, that went well. Except for the, you know, minus one budget. <laughs> uh, let's go to Velen. We got some refugee crisis to deal with. Salute the soldiers. Mr. President, welcome to Raklowitz. Nice to see you, Mr. President. The pleasantries are done, let's go. We'll talk, take a jeep for a tour. Salute the soldiers. We'll first go to the city center to see the opening of a statue. Whose statue exactly? It's mine, of course. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Is Rocklovis always this empty? Had the locals closed down their businesses because of your visit, so that can that you can enjoy the city more. Dude, I don't know what what is there to enjoy if everything's closed. There we are. My people have been very supportive of this visit. I am sure you, we, you are delighted to see. Thankfully the sun is up to... Uh, it's a quieting the descent. Uh, I, I need his, his military support. But I don't... He, I don't want to make a deal with him. I do not want to make a deal with him. I do want to support uh, the bloodish people. In their struggle for for liberation. Since you know how to handle dissidents. What will happen to the man who was protesting you? Well, which man? Don't worry. <laughs> Must have been trouble. Must have been a troubled fella. Yeah, sure. Excellent statue, very lifelike. Don't have time for this games, so let's go straight into business. Join me for a walk. Uh, 
yeah, yeah. Are you going to pay for it? No, I'll pay the street vendor. It's the least I can do. Your money doesn't count here, I got this. Now we can talk about our trade deal. Finally. No, not. But before that, oh for fuck's sake. Bring the Kisha. Ah yes, let's let's smoke some uh, tobacco? Ah, come on. Fine. Well, let's partake, of course. So, Mr. President, that's too long. Can I call you Anton? Sure. Anton, tell me, what do you really think about Romberg? Like any other country, they have their needs. Here they are. Earth. A uh, barking dog doesn't bite. I'm sure either time will come. I would rather prevent future conflict. <laughs> know as well as I do, they are coming whether I like it or not. They are the aggressor, not us. For now, I have something else in mind. Bloods and their so-called BFF are causing problems for me in this region. I know that they are also a problem for you as well. I will not allow this traitor to exist in my border. So, I will hit them with all the might of Ellen. This terrorist needs to be destroyed now. There we have a problem, mate. Operation Bread Trap. I don't support any military action this close to our borders. Here's the deal. I will give you the best trade deal in the region. You will give me your assistance crushing these terrorists on both of our borders. I want metal and vel... I won't meddle in Velen's military interventions. It's not just Velen's problem, it's sort of Sordon's problem. These terrorists are doing anything they can to destabilize the region. No, I, I, I will not help you do ethnic cleansing against the Kurds. Uh, I'm sorry, the Bloods. Of course. Totally different. This is totally not Turkey. My spies have infiltrated VFF cells and they found caches of K 74s we traced them back to Rumberg, this one justifies my retaliation. Worst of all, we also found that similar shipments are going to Swordland. It's not just Valen's problem. Propose you a no tariff agreement, co investment projects, and oil. In return, you will assist me in destroying the terrorists in my country. No. To hell with international ramifications, I'll protect my country, I don't care what they say. What I want from you in return for all, for all the money and the resources, a joint operation in between our armies against the BFF. No deal. I won't offer any, anything else, but I like you. Here's my final offer. When the operation starts, with you or without you, there will be stragglers trying to cross into Swordland. We just want you to support the operation, even if you do not join. Stop the terrorists from fleeing into your country, and you will have your deal. Simple, isn't it? So what do you think? No. That's unfortunate. I thought we could be friends. We decide to leave Velen alone by itself. It's such a shame. I'm sure a great leader. Yada yada yada. My assistant will show you the way. Goodbye, Mr. Rain. Nope. I am not helping you ethnically cleanse your country. <laughs> okay, what's in the news? Sordland and Agnolia enter alliance. New alliance in Eastern Merkopa. Vern Horton is playing with fire. Okay, what, what's new for us? Speech of the President on the reforms. Uh, let's see, do we have the votes?
order, 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 order. That I'm afraid that's my wait. Order, order. I no, I, I can't do a. What's his face? I forgot. I, I forgot the name. The the former speaker of the house. In. In the in the UK, I forget his name. Calm yourself. Show sure respect for procedures. Next time, I'll tell you to do so. Either take. Take your seat or leave the hall so we can proceed with the procedures of this assembly and continue our duties. Honorable ladies and gentlemen, if you allow me to continue, we have the president here with us today. He has asked to give an important announcement. We have the floor. Honorable members of the assembly, I am here today to raise important questions regarding our outdated constitution. Our constitution doesn't adequately define or respect the separation of powers. Let's look, let's pander by let's pander to the assembly. Our elected assembly has always been overshadowed by the executive and the designated judiciary branches in Sorland. The Grand National Assembly must be able to exercise its job properly and without obstruction. However, our current constitution fails to guarantee this. Let's change the constitution, prepare Scotland for a more democratic era, rewrite the constitution, break chains of the past, I call everyone to stand by us to make historic changes. Therefore we propose, therefore we propose changes to the constitution to prepare Scotland for a more democratic era. Okay. We will break the Supreme Court's authority over constitutional changes. We will rebalance the branches of governments to ensure a more democratic process. Focus on... Unity. It's more important than ever that we stand united as a nation in these changing times. I call everybody to be part of the change our people has been calling for. We all want to make Sordland better. Let's embrace democracy and unite under the banner of our people, and surely Sordland will be great again. Tarquin Sol will answer for the crimes. <laughs> this is a bit too spicy. <laughs> we, we might not want to go here and antagonize half of our party. Let's embrace the future. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna make Sordland great again, for fuck's sake. All the respect I believe Sordland is already democratic. We both know that our constitution is flawed. Dark and Sol in his efforts cannot be ignored. We must keep following the path defined by this defined for Sordish people. I'm sure the honorable members of USP will see that the president is acting rash by lying with the opposition to destroy the culture of Solism that established Sordland. That was the extent of my quick note. Thank you. The president has the floor. Uh, you can't just take the floor. Please don't try to sabotage my speech. We are not here to destroy solism or our cultural values. We set aside our differences. Time to make a new constitution. I ask everyone to think clearly about our current situation. We must set aside our differences. Support us in be part of a new era for Sordland, join us and vote for our proposal. I will address all the problems of the past now. Nah. Yes, we will change and lead Sordland into the future. Let's write the future together. <coughs> Finish with a poem. <laughs> there is a victory growing with every morning. There is a revolution that's coming. There are songs to be sung. Uh, there is spring that blossoms out of the graves of our fallen. It's not doubt the one. Yeah, the other. If you're not, when dark falls, there is not to space in the sun. Not there to surrender. There's a victory that grows with defeat. If you're not, when the dark falls. It doesn't exactly rhyme here. Morning coming, fallen. 
Beyond the next morning, there is a victory waiting to be won. All kinds of different reactions. <laughs> the, this, this is this is going great. Some applauses came from the PFJP and USPCs. Most of the others started to make loud noises again. I walked back to my seat as many MPs asked to speak. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to thank Mr. President for his speech. We, the People's Freedom and Justice Party, stand in agreement with the need for a more democratic constitution. I would like to thank the ladies and gentlemen of the United Swordland Party for their more open attitude compared to past years. As long as Mr. President's words prove not to be just words, we will be behind this much needed movement for change. We welcome these attempts. I ask Mr. President to share the final contents of this propo proposal as soon as possible. The President must have lost his mind to cooperate with the likes of you. Ah, this is great. You and PFJP are nothing but puppets of Western interests. Order! Madam Speaker, I know you are in agreement with me as well. Don't stand idly there while this administration is making deals with, with snakes and reminding the, the integrity of Swordland. Order! How many times do I need to say you are speaking out of turn? I demand to speak. Shut the fuck up. Very well, Mr. Kimmer, go ahead. Mr. President, the nationalist movement does not agree with your priorities. I don't really care for the nationalist movement, mate. Nor the way you're trying to implement them, the National Front Party will not stand with you on, the, on your new constitution. Let it be known that the INFP's concerns are not included in this so-called democratic reforms, thus Mr. President has no right to claim them as such. We will stand our ground against any attempt to bring down our established cult political culture and national values. Ask to speak. Mr. Kibner. It is you who shouldn't use the word democratic when you want a more centralized government. We're, we're not specifically cooperating with someone, but everyone who has... Yeah, it is you who shouldn't use the word de democratic. Not stand against change, be part of it. We can do much more together. Don't you dare stand against us, otherwise no, the NFP is guaranteed to be history. Do not stand against change, be part of it. We can do much together. I don't want to do much together. We will bring changes regardless of your support. Mr. Richter. We'd like to have cooperation between our parties. I expect your support. We can do much more together. I welcome your positive attitude. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Order! Order! This topic is finished, we are moving on to our next topic. Bye! No longer my concern. And with that, let's check the news. 121 signatures. Ah, fuck. <laughs> We're not going to be able to pass this, are we? Right, our elected assembly has always been overshadowed. Walker warns Volkslandian Navy over Hellian dispute. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for this episode. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, do everything that makes the algorithm happy. As always, I have been Pope, and I will see you all next time.